Oi there folks, it's Desert Fox back again with another Sea of Thieves guide. Today we're going to be talking about supplies, so let's dive right on in. You might ask how to get supplies and how to get a lot of them. This is an ultimate supply guide. We're going over every possible method, give or take a few, to supply up in Sea of Thieves. Strap in and raise your supply red flag. We're going hunting. In no particular order, first we have the good old fashioned method, which is just looting supply barrels at an outpost equipped only with your hands and presumably a small sack of some sort, up to 10 cannonballs plus 5 throwable, 5 cursed, 5 wood, 5 pieces of food, 10 pieces of bait, and the will to go on during this method can be a lot for one pirate to carry. Instead of tormenting yourself, you can buy a storage crate for 5,000 gold from the merchant. Go to a barrel, hit the prompt keys to take or give supplies from a container. Now storage crates are rife with first world problems, like too many items that can go into the storage crate. Trying to supply up with a full storage crate is ill-advised. Go ahead and yeet more rare items into your inventory in the least desirable, like bananas, straight into a barrel to serve as your personal trash can. Take the storage crate back to your boat and empty it into your barrels. Sure, you could keep the crate full, especially if someone sinks you. They're getting your supplies anyway, but imagine if someone comes aboard and tosses your crate into the ocean. Good luck. I empty the storage crate, hide them, and keep supply crates full with their respective supplies on deck instead. At least this way, if someone tosses them, I've only lost up to 50 of that supply. You can buy these crates from the Merchant Alliance. They're pretty cheap and worth having around for both PvP and PvE encounters. You can keep them full or empty them into your barrels. And as long as you don't sell at the same outpost you got them, you can fill and then sell them at the end of a session. If you're on a captain bow, you can buy supplies from the shipwright. For me, this is supplementary to looting outposts via storage crates and buying merchant crates. We're going to move into something a bit more abstract. If you're a pirate legend, you can go down into Athena's fortune and steal their moldy supplies. They're hermit ghosts that don't leave home. You think they're chugging coconuts and using wood? If you happen to be level 100 in the PvP Hourglass Dives, you could also get some cheeky but relatively minimal supplies from the Tavern of Legends as well as the Reaper's Lair. I know it's August, I still don't have it at the time of recording this, don't judge me. Moving away from outposts and venturing out onto the open seas, we're just out looking for something. Ah yes, a flock of seagulls indicating barrels of delicious supplies. And I guess there's some loot there too, but... We're here for the supplies, which is the real treasure. Now, similarly to barrels of plenty floating out of the waves, shipwrecks are also indicated by flocks of gulls overhead, except shipwrecks are objectively better. Much, much more supplies. As a result, it is worth having a storage crate with you unless you're taking a quick pit stop while your ship continues to sail on. Coast ship fleets, whether they're a voyage or the world event, will also drop supplies, which even one of those crates can be a relatively nice boost in supply. Sinking skelly sloops or skelly galleons will also result in a storage crate. However, unlike ghost ships, they take a lot more effort than three cannonball hits, and with good reason. Sink them or sneak aboard and steal the crate to claim your prize. This one is again for pirate legends. Legend of the Veil quest can be rather profitable in term of gold and in supplies. Looting the shipwrecks and at the end of the voyage, defeating bordering towers and some ghost ships will result in supply crates. Back in the Merchant Lost Ship and Voyages video, I showed you could get supplies from those types of voyages. However, the supplies aren't worth the effort. There will be miscellaneous supplies and crates that hang out on beaches on some islands. I tend not to bother with loose supply, but the crates are worth. At some point, you should have at least one storage crate. Use it to hoover supplies from islands you're stopping at. Rowboats are huge in terms of supplies since they serve as a multi-purpose temporary storage and are their own vehicle. Bonus points if it's a cannon rowboat, because those supplies are just nuts. And of course, seaposts are generally a great resource for a little bit of supplies, just mainly because of how accessible they are and their size. Skelly forts! Yes, they've been mentioned here before, but these will bring a pretty good chunk of supplies for no effort if they aren't an active world event. Now, oh, there should be a clear difference between prop barrels, supply barrels, and me. Next question, why did the pirate hide in a barrel? Well, he, he was a little scaredy cask. But um... Fort of the Damned, rest in peace old boot fort. The FOTD gets its own little section, and if you're passing nearby, it's almost always worth firing out two and grabbing an armful of supplies because they're just so dang juicy. Sea forts tend to be the stop for stocking up for PvP fights and riveting PvE experiences. Solo, they're annoying to grab supplies from, but you can just run past and invade all the phantoms and keep moving when they catch back up with you, or if you run with a crew, have them run distraction or just finish the fort. But the amount of supplies you get here are huge. Three dead 
dedicated cannonball barrels per with around 50 cannonballs each, for example. There's a lot of other supplies here too. Steal your enemy's supplies by sinking them. Or you could just be sneaky and steal your enemy's supplies without them even knowing. If you work your way to the third and fifth Pirate's Life Tall Tales, you'll have a relatively outdated method of resupply. The third Tall Tale is more of a specific spot via a checkpoint, which is super fun watching on Twitch. And speaking of Twitch, I do occasionally stream on twitch.tv slash itsdesertfox, where we main PvP but toss in some PvE, so come and chat and or ask questions. The fifth Pirate's Life Tall Tale is very similar to a world event, but the amount of supplies are huge. Even just a few minutes of grinding can bring you a lot. You'll get a bunch of crates that individually don't have very many supplies, but since every ghost ship drops one, you'll quickly become overwhelmed. Well, that just about wraps up this annual video release. If you catch a resupply method that I missed, throw it down in the comments or show me your favorite YouTube emote, cause engagement. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the <laughs> bell to be notified when I release the next video. Take care, pirates.